I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today to show you my latest cool find. Yes, that's right. I have been trying magnetic eyelashes and I've tried several different brands and I'll be telling you about the different brands, but I like this one best for sure. And these are the Ardell Magnetic Liner and Lash Kit here. And they have these little accent lashes, they are called. And my niece who runs Ulta Store, she's an amazing young woman. Oh my gosh, she's only been there two years and she started running a store and now she's doing like regional management. She's crazy amazing. But I told her that I would love to try artificial lashes, but that when I tried them in the past, they looked terrible on me and they always, you know, came up in the corners, fell off. You know, I just could not handle them. And she said, oh, my mother, I turned her on to these Ardell magnetic lashes in the accent type. And she said she loves them. They're super easy. And she is so right. They are fabulous. And these have really upped my game in terms of my eyelashes. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things beautifying for any age, and if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, or 60s like me, then I hope you'll subscribe. And if you could click that little bell, that would be great too if you like this video. Okay, let's get into this. Again, these are the Ardell Magnetic Lashes in the Accent Lashes. And let me come in a little closer to show you what these are. Because really, these are about on just the last third of your lashes, from maybe about this point to the back. And I think that really helps make them look very, very natural. And as I'll show you in just a few moments, I tried some of the full strip lashes in the magnetic and I don't know, it just looked like I was trying too hard. You know, when you get to be my age, you, you can't be quite as dramatic as you can be in your 30s or 40s. So anyway, in just a few moments, I'll show you how they applied. But my overall thoughts about these are, they are super easy to wear. Basically what you do is you just follow the directions and it comes with the magnetic lash liner here. And with this Ardell brand, you just use two coats of the eyeliner. And as I'll show you in the video, I start putting on my makeup. And then when I get to the point that I would do the eyeliner, I go ahead and put that on very gently, two coats on each, let it dry, go ahead and apply my mascara. And then I just set these on the outside and they practically attach themselves and they last all day. I have not had a problem with losing them or they're not staying on. Certainly I don't have the same problem I used to with the glue lashes that the ends would you know pop up in the middle of the movie theater and i'd have to go in the bathroom and get my glue out and do the whole thing again these are truly effortless lashes and i think they're wonderful now before i get into the video showing you the application let me show you a few more brands that i tried this next one is the eyelure pro magnetic one of them just fell down pro magnetic magnetic eyeliner and lash system and I did not like this nearly so well. First, it took three coats of the eyeliner, which takes a long time for it to dry. I thought the eyeliner almost never dried with this. It felt sticky on my eyelashes and it was also hard to get off at night. Where with the Ardell lashes at the end of the evening, I just use my normal makeup remover. It's a CoverGirl oily makeup remover, but it works really well to remove the liner there. So I did not like these. Then I tried a couple of different seemingly bargain lash sets from Walmart. And these are amazing. And they come in pretty boxes, but these are the insides of the boxes, obviously. Oh, I just dropped something. But basically, this just gives you a ton of these magnetic lashes. And, you know, you could use these forever, but these tend to be much more dramatic looking lashes. And I did try them and I wore, which kit was it? Which kit was it? I can't remember. Oh yes, I wore the lashes from this kit for a couple of days. I wore this pair and this pair. This pair that was a little more natural looking looked pretty good. But this pair, which wasn't even as dramatic as some of these, really looked overdone by the end of the day. I thought they looked good at the first of the day, you know, when you think you're looking so great. But by the end of the day, I looked in the mirror and just thought, oh, you look like an old lady trying too hard. But another thing about these lashes too, these accents are shorter, so you don't have to cut them down. But these are so long that they would stick over the end of my eyelash there. So I had to cut them down quite a bit to make them fit. I did kind of like these, and if you like the dramatic lashes, this could be good for you. And I'll link both of these sets below, and I may keep trying them out, but I just think I need something a little more natural looking at my age. Okay, before I show you the application, let me come in a little closer and show you what they look like. Here they are. I'll shut my eyes. I don't know how they look, but I think they look okay. And there they are up close. And I wish you could see them. I wish you could see how my lashes looked without them but it just gives quite a lot of flutter out here 
and yet it still looks totally natural. It does not look like I'm wearing false lashes, I don't think. Now the young girls look good when it looks obvious they're wearing false lashes, but I think on someone my age, it's better to be more subtle. So let me go ahead and show you how they applied this morning. Okay, here I am up close and personal, and I'm going to be applying my eye makeup before I apply my lashes. I apply everything on my eyes, including mascara, and then do the eyelashes, although the magnetic liner goes on in the middle of that. And I always apply my eyeshadow and my eye makeup, starting with a clean face, in case I get any fallout. I didn't used to do that, but I have started doing that, and I really do like it. Okay, let's go into this Natasha Denona Glam Palette, and I'll just mix a little of that together. And I'll just do this real quickly. This really isn't any kind of an eyeshadow tutorial, but I love this palette. It is absolutely my favorite. I should have used probably an eyeshadow primer because as you can tell, the tops of my lids are really red, but I'm just going to go into work this morning. <laughs> and let's see, this one says brow right here. It says under the brow and it is a little bit glittery. However, I started using it and I like it. Normally I would use this one which is nice and matte, but for some reason it's not really, well, actually in the lights here it looks terrible. Let me uh, go ahead and use that matte on top of that anyway. We'll make it look a little better. Yeah, that matte does look better, especially under these lights, very intense. Okay, now we're going to go in and do the crease. And I was gifted these BK Beauty brushes a while back, and now they're about the only thing I use. I have a few extra brushes that I throw in there, but for the most part, it is a fantastic brush set. This is one of them. It's a very good crease brush because it almost feathers out the color as you go. It almost blends as you go, which is nice because you really want a more blended color. Especially as we get older, we need to get rid of the harsh lines as much as we possibly can, <laughs> including those on her face. <laughs> little wrinkle humor there for you. It's always a little problem when I get made up in this makeup room and then go to work because these lights wash color out a little bit, so it encourages me to overdo a little bit. They'll be thinking I'm ready for the disco at work today. Okay, that is the eyeshadow color so far. And I like to do a little blue under my eyes, and I use this Color Me Beautiful blue called Teal. Teal Zeal or something like that. And I just go right under here. I just think that looks pretty. And I have on my blue, my blue graphite contacts from Solotica. They are great. It took me a few days to get used to them because at first they felt a little scratchy, but then I, uh, worked with them and used some good wetting solution and now they're they're perfect. So anyway, that is that. Maybe a little more. Boy, these lights do wash things out. I'm not used to, to doing makeup under the lights. I haven't done it in a long time. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it is time to apply the eyeliner and it comes in the little kit here. I'll go ahead and take that off. And this is magnetic eyeliner and you do two coats. And I'm not going to look at you. You've got to shake it up really, really well there. Then you just take it out, and it's the Ardell brand, of course. And uh, I like this. It's a very, very good magnetic liner. Put that down. And you just kind of go along the lash line. And it's better to do kind of a thick coat here, especially on the edge. Oops, got a little extra there a little wing and you're going to do two coats so and you let them dry mostly between the two coats and they certainly need to be dry before you apply the eyelashes sorry no you can't see that you're looking at my hand that needs a little more I would say And even though these go on the outside, maybe third of your eyelashes, I like to get the liner in as close as I can. So, oh, that the inside of this doesn't look very good. Okay, that looks a little better. Now, I should have probably waterlined because when you have the harsh black liner, you do have a little bit of white skin showing between your lashes. This is the second coat. 
Okay, that went on, on pretty well. I think I will run get my liner to waterline. It's especially important to get the liner right out on the outer corner. I probably err on the side of doing a little too much liner because I want to make sure that I have good, a good magnetic base there. Okay, that looks good. Let me get something to put in the waterline. Where is my eyeliner? I'll be back. Okay, I've got some pure black eyeliner. I love this because it has the, the tip on it. And I'm just going to get this in the waterline and the idea is to get it up between the eyelashes. Not necessarily just to paint that one area of black, that one white area. That also gives this time to dry. I think that looks a little better. Yeah, I think that does. Okay, now this one, we'll try this one. Okay, I think those do look a little more filled in, which is good. Okay, now the next step is to do the mascara. Just use my grungy toothbrush and then a good lash curler. I've had this one for a long time. It's a really good one, the Surratt. I like my eyelashes to look very curled. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and apply the mascara. Okay, I'm using my Stila, and I love this. This is the Stila, um, what is it called? Extreme Huge Lash. I think it's called that. I can't really see. It's gold on gold. But this is a little older tube. Let's hope we can get enough out. Mascara is really good in the first few weeks. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and apply the magnetic lashes. And there they are. I think the eyeliner is nice and dry. And so I just use my fingers here. I've noticed that most of the little lash tweezers that they have to apply lashes are metal. And that messes with the magnetic strip. There you go. I'm going to make sure that that lash strip is right down on top of the lash on top of that eyeliner. And there it is. Let me do the other one. And as you can tell, these are just accents. This is not a full lash. It goes about a third of the way in. I start on the outside. Perfect. That was easy. Okay, as you can see, those are super, super easy to apply and they stay on all day. I've never had a problem with them. I haven't lost any and you get about 15 wears after each one, which is wonderful. Let me finish this makeup and I'll come back to give you my closing thoughts. Okay, that was a look at how they applied and I've worn them all day. It's actually a Friday and I only work half a day on Friday and I do my YouTube videos Friday afternoons. It's a wonderful thing. And it is two o'clock now and they are still going strong as you can tell. But I'll go ahead and remove them because I just went into Ulta before I did the video to rebuy these lashes so I'd have a brand new pair to show you. And I saw that they had these and these are very natural looking magnetic lashes. These are the Magnetic Naked Lashes. I think those look pretty good and they definitely look very natural for the false eyelashes. So I'll go ahead and quickly remove these and then I'll show you how those look. And you and I will be doing this together. <laughs> there it is, it's falling off. But I think it's a beautiful little lash. There is my eye without the false lash. I'll try to take this one off. Okay, and then this one just came off very easily too. They come off so easily. They don't even hardly pull. So there I am without any false lashes at all. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and apply these naked lashes from Ardell. I'll just use the liner that I used this morning because it is still on there. It's going strong. I really like it that it is only two coats that you need. There they are in the little, in the little tray there. And you can get any of the lashes with the lash glue as well, but it's a little cheaper just to buy the just to buy the little set here, and I hope these aren't too long to get on my eye. I may have to cut them down. Okay, 
Okay, I have it on, but I just realized it is not attaching very well here at all because since the lashes I applied this morning were just accent and they just went from about the middle to the end, I did not extend the eyeliner. So let me go off camera and extend the eyeliner and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back and I have the liner applied. I hope it's dry, I think it is. Okay, here are the lashes again and I'll go ahead and take one of them off. There it is. Try to get it as close to the outside corner as you can. That will make it look a lot better. Okay, there it is. Ooh, I like those. I think they're just beautiful. Very pretty. I don't know if you can see them, but they really give you a lot of flutter. And I don't think they look too unreal. I guess that's why they call them nakeds. Let me go ahead and put the other one on. Okay, here it is. Another little fluttery thing there, of course. Ardell lashes are just fantastic. They have probably been around about the longest of any eyelash brand. See how easy that is? That's amazing. Perfect. Okay, there they both are. And my, let me come in a little closer. They're definitely a little more full than the accent lashes. I think they're so pretty though. And that took, as you could tell, you know, about a minute to apply them. And I like it that the lash glue dries really, really fast, and the lash glue is, of course, magnetic. And I can't imagine that these won't last all day long because my accents do. I really think these are fabulous lashes, and I'll link both of the styles below. And if you're like me and you're brand new at eyelashes, especially magnetic lashes, then I would recommend that you start with those accent lashes because they're smaller, they're super easy to apply. These are a little more challenging, plus you have to be fairly good with liquid liner, although I had stopped using it for probably a year, and I just started using it again for these lashes, and it really worked well. One more tip is to make sure to really shake up that vial of lash glue before you start getting started. So that's how they look, and I really, really like them. They look very natural, but a little bit glam, a little more glam than the accent lashes. But if you're just starting out, like I started, I would go ahead and get the accents first, and then maybe try the nakeds, because they're very lightweight, but yet they have a little bit of glam to them. I really think you would like them. They're easy, and when you get 10 to 15 wears out of each pair, they're really very reasonable in price. Okay, that was a look at the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. And if you're interested in those little tips and tricks that help us look and feel our best at 40, 50, or 60 plus, which is my case, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you click that little bell, that would be wonderful. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I'm going to be reading from these Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. And here they are. Let me go ahead and choose a card to think about for today. Oh, here's a good one. I welcome miracles into my life. I welcome miracles into my life. Ooh, also welcome uh, extra lash liner into my life. Here it is on the back. It says, be open to miracles today. You will experience a miracle each time you decide to let life love you a little bit more than before. Oh, friends, I absolutely love that card, and I think it is so true. First, don't we all want miracles in our day? You know, some days you get up and you just think, oh, you know, I'm just going to go through my day and, you know, I hope it'll be a good one. But, you know, with that attitude, we're not likely to have a fabulous day. I love this idea of welcoming miracles into my life because really when you're in the flow of life, the flow of the universe, whatever your beliefs are, then sometimes you really can experience little miracles and it makes life a whole lot of fun. And as this card reminds us, we can welcome miracles into our life each time we accept love, we celebrate love, and we invite life to love us a little bit more. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.